Hello guys, didn't see you there. How you doing? Yeah, I'm just about to wake. No, I haven't slept today. <laughs> well, not since waking up this morning. Nah, I've been too busy. That's work for you. I am tired as always, but I've got some of these vitamin D tablets off the doctors coming, so hopefully that will help. Yeah, what are you guys up to anyway? A few of you in chat. Hello to you all. Looking forward to carrying on today because we are going to be, at least to start with, cracking on with some story stuff. So that should be fun. Anyway, guys, I do want to make some progress. So pleasantries aside, let's get started, shall we? One last big collective hello to everybody that's joining us today. Here we go. Enjoy. Wrong scene there. <laughs> no, we have started. Oh, okay, Frederick. Have you beaten it, have you? Or are you still playing Final Fantasy VIII? Right, before we go any further, since we have got a forced party, it would appear, I do want to just go ahead and make our way into the menu. Oh, this should be a weapon, shouldn't it? Yeah, a weapon for Aerith. Yeah, I want to go into the main menu, sort out equipment, material, all of that good stuff. Because I haven't been using Aerith or Red all that often. Which means, yeah, probably need sorting out. Um, Arcane Ward has been learned, which is good because I've been using that quite frequently. Lustrous Shield. Okay, so this is what we just picked up, was it? The Wizard's Rod. Conjure a magical shield that keeps enemies at bay and stops projectiles. Okay, maybe we should focus on this one. Yeah, I do want to learn all of these abilities, of course. But let's start with the Wizard's Rod, shall we? Since we've just collected it. And it's actually got uh, five materia slots as well. Hey, guys. A few more people stopping by in chat. Yeah, good day to you all. I hope you've been having a good week. Weekend is upon us in a few hours, so that's good. Right, let's go for max HP. And maybe critical hit rate. Um... Yeah, I think that's probably best. I'm going to go ahead and remove everybody's material, I think. And we'll start from scratch. Since I haven't done this for a while. I know it's a bit annoying, but I think it is going to help. Does Cloud have any other abilities to learn? Nope, so we'll keep him equipped with the Rune Blade. Is the L Bracer still the best choice? For now, yeah, that will do fine. Uh, let's just check with red. Yep, keeping with that. Okay, that'll all do. Right, let's go ahead and sort out some... Ah, no! What am I doing? Uh, sort out some material here. Oh, no worries, Fino. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the zipline quest. I've still got, I think, one more of those to do. As in, like, one more zipline treasure to find. But I'm making progress with it, so that's good. Um, enemy skill is what I'm looking for. That is really kind of important. Ah, fair enough, Frederick. You're making good progress then. Nice one. Oh, yeah, it's got that kind of mix to it, hasn't it, Steve? Bit of Star Ocean music at the moment. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I don't know what elements we're going to need to be dealing with in this region. But that's fine. I probably should level something up if I can. Is that a link slot? I couldn't quite tell. Yes, it is. Uh, let's level up. I don't know, actually. Maybe something defensive. Yeah. Maybe something like HP up. A little bit of additional HP isn't going to hurt, is it? So getting that fired up is probably going to be helpful. Uh, healing I'm not too fussed about because we've got the enemy skill equipped. 
I think I will put pr uh, prayer on though. I have been using this and it does actually heal quite nicely. It's an area of effect heal as well, which is always helpful. Allows an ally to automatically use spells. The thing with the auto abilities, the reason I'm not a big fan of them, they sound great in practice, like auto cast and auto ability. And I think this is something that Steve might have mentioned before and others as well. Hello, Bobbo. The problem is with them, ATB, the gauge, fills up so slowly on the party members you're not controlling that you just don't really get to see these abilities being cast all that much. Which kind of sucks, to tell you the truth. So, yeah, I'm not too um, too pleased about that. But let's start levelling up haste as well. Not haste, sorry, time, so we can get slow. I want some elements, but what elements do I want? Fire and ice, perhaps? Yeah, why not? And let's pair that as well, shall we, with an elemental materia. At least it's guarding against two elements then. Oh yes, and the important assess. Mustn't forget assess. Which is effectively essential, isn't it? No, you don't get enemy skills, Barbo, from enemies in this game. You get them as rewards for beating some of Chadley's battle challenges. So the first time you beat specific challenges, you will get certain enemy skills. It's the only way to get them. Has anybody even used Morph in this game? I wonder if it does any good. Um, right, I think HP up for Aerith as well. If Have I got enough to give to everybody? Yeah, I've got two. So we can have each party member with at least one and we can start leveling them up also. Right, healing. What can I link with healing? I still do not have an all materia. But what I can do is link a magic efficiency. Ah, oh, that's interesting, Steve. Yes, good good point. Hello, this dad. You all right? Oh, yes, that's true. I don't actually need a cess to be equipped, do I? I keep forgetting because I do have the earrings equipped. Yeah, so I can actually replace this with something else. Probably not something I would use, but at least we'll start getting AP and levelling up the materia. Hey, Em, thank you so much for the super chat. Cheers to the weekend. Nice one. Thanks for that. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, you find time to put your feet up over the weekend for a little bit. Um, hmm. Do I want to start putting some of these defense abilities like spirit and vitality onto party members? I think I do. Maybe Aerith's not the best one for vitality because she shouldn't be taking much physical damage anyway, but still. I don't know how useful those materials will be later on, which is why I would like to try and level them up now if we can. Oh, what do I have to guard against? Maybe, do I have poison? I think I gave it to Cloud, didn't I? No. Nope. That'll do nicely. And then finally, Red 13. I'll start by giving him some purples, including the HP. Up. Oh. Yep, a look. Oh, one thing I do want to give to Cloud. I messed up a bit. Oh, where's he gone? There he is. I do want to give him the first strike materia. So let's get rid of time. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, that ATB boost at the start is really helpful because you can start by assessing then without having to build up ATB. And do I have any blues since I've got a couple of slots here? Yeah, we might as well use Auto Cast Cure or something. Even if we don't ever get to see it because, well, it just doesn't work very well, in my opinion, with the slow ATB build-ups. And then we can give him time to level that up. I've got a feeling that slow may be useful if bosses aren't immune to it later on. Which is why I would like, as I say, to do so. Okay, and then maybe Item Economizer. As well. And we'll get that leveled up too. 
So if we get to just trying to, f I haven't actually used this properly yet, so I need to figure out how it works. Okay, so once you've done three actions, then you can cast. I think it means like three actions that cost ATB. Then you can use an item without it costing ATB. But then we can level it up to only need two or one action to be used. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, guys. I know that wasn't too exciting going through the menus there. But we're done now, hopefully. As we start to see the enemies that we are facing off against, I might have to readjust it a little. But that should be okay. Uh, what do we do from upgrade weapons? Okay, nothing exciting. Oh, wow, Steve. So the game kind of forces you to do that then, doesn't it? Those mini games on hard mode. Um, By the way, Square have just put a patch out for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, haven't they? And as far as I know, they've made some adjustments to the hard mode difficulties of minigames. Is that right? I don't think they've nerfed them, but they have made some adjustments. Uh, what have I got? Snow flurry. Nice. Oh, cheers, pirate. Yeah, I've not felt any pressure. No, I've been enjoying this. Taking my time with this game. Because once it's over, it's over, I suppose, isn't it? And it's probably still going to be like four years until part three comes out. <laughs> so, yeah, I've just been taking my time, relishing it. And having a lot of fun. Looks like there's two ways we can go. I don't think ultimately it matters. But maybe we should go this way. It looks like there's going to be more to explore. Might be a few items for us to grab on the way. Like chests and what have you. Yeah, I did see the patch notes, Steve. You're right, there was a lot of update. I mean, there wasn't that many updates in the patch overall, but those updates were generally focused on performance and graphics, weren't they? All right, what's going on here? We've got a little arrow with an angry man's face. Kind of looks a bit like Barrett's head, doesn't it? Alas, I don't see much around here. Not so much as a treasure chest. Boo-hoo. Okay, there is a bit we can explore over here. Sorry guys, I've not been checking chat. Yeah, that's right, Steve. Right now, I can equip two abilities, can't I? But yeah, hopefully as we level up more, in terms of our weapons, we should be able to equip even more. Yeah, that cable car doesn't look particularly safe, does it? Not at all. This place is a lot bigger than I expected, to tell you the truth. The map just keeps expanding as I go exploring. What's the weather like where you are right now, Red? You're 
Is it bad where you are right now, Red? What state are you in? I know you've mentioned it before, but I forget because you know what my memory is like. I think there might be a chest around here. Did I just see? Nope, it's a light. Leading us down into... Well, whatever this precipice is. Oh, it's a materia. See, it is worth exploring these places. It's an orb of MP up. I might actually dish that out over to Aerith. We can start leveling it up at least, even though it probably won't be that useful to start with. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yep, MP up. 10% right now, but we can get it up to 30% with a little bit of effort. Oh, what's the ability that red and Aerith need to be levelling up? I need to be casting it, you see. Uh, for Aerith, it's Lustrous Shield. And for red, it's Chilling Roar. Okay, need to bear those in mind. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to pick up, so let's start heading back, shall we? Ah, just an ingredient. Ah, I see red. Yeah, it's the sometimes it's not necessarily the bad weather that messes you up, is it? It's like the actual constant changing in climate. Like, it's nice one day and then terrible the next. Is that what messes you up, is it? Um, I did run past here without looting, so I'll just check whilst we're back that, the, you know, that there is, if I can speak, that there is nothing to grab. Oh. Oh, Red 13's Chilling Raw ability. Yeah, I'm going to test that out the next time we have a fight, which, yeah, uh, looks around about now. Right, Chilling Roar. Retaliate with Ice Shards whenever hit by an attack. Okay. Is it like a buff that stays on us then, is it? Yeah, it is pretty nice, isn't it? It is. And we can cast items without spending an ability, which I don't want to do right now. I'm going to cast it again if we don't need it, just to try and level it up. And again... Yeah, I've been spending points at the uh, bending machines next to the benches. Uh, what am I doing here? Let's heal up. I should probably add this chilling roar to a shortcut while it's levelling. Nice. Yeah, Yuffie's abilities are pretty good. The elemental ninjutsu, whatever it's called. But on some enemies, I've noticed that Yuffie's ninjutsu doesn't work very well. Have you guys found that? I don't know what it is. It just does not seem to work at all. It could just be me messing up, which is quite possibly likely, but on other enemies it seems fine, but on some not so much. I can't seem to get it to work properly. Yeah. FF8 has always been a divisive entry. I have to say it's grown on me over the years. I was never the biggest fan of it growing up, but I mean, the last playthrough we did a few years ago now on the channel with the remastered version when that came out. Even though the remastered 
version itself didn't really bring a whole lot new to the table. I really enjoyed the playthrough itself. Had a lot of fun with it. Right, what is it I need to level up? Yeah. Lost your shield. That's the one. I know I've already got it equipped, but let's just keep throwing that on because we need to level it up. Okay, Illustrious Shield is a directional shield, is it, by the looks of things? I know I've got the other heal as well. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons that Final Fantasy VIII was so divisive, because it seemed unnecessarily complex at many times with some of its in-game systems. Yeah, to be honest, Red, I really enjoyed that low-level playthrough. But it's also... Oh, look, we're back to where we were. Um, it also shows one of the downsides to FF8, though. One of the... I guess, critical points. The game doesn't really do a good job of explaining the fact that enemies level up with you. And it doesn't really do a good job of explaining that they start to become more powerful relative to your power. So, if you are level 10 and an enemy is level 10 in Final Fantasy VIII, you take that difficulty, but then if you level up to 50 and the enemy levels up to 50, the difficulty hasn't stayed relative. The enemies become more powerful than you have. Which means that the game, if you really want to max out your party's power, kind of forces you not to level. Which is a poor system because in RPGs and that, you would expect that by leveling, you are forcing more power on your party. So it actually takes the antithetical approach to what is traditional for role playing games. And it doesn't really explain that very well. And I don't think Square were a big fan of it either, how it turned out, because we never really saw that system going forward again. Uh, I haven't done the tutorials. I think I've got a good grasp of how to use Yuffie now. And yeah, for the most part, her ninjutsu is really powerful. Especially because you can choose any element with it. But yeah, I don't know what it is. On some enemies, it just doesn't work for me. Uh, let's throw a soothing breeze down. Turn data. Have we not leveled Chilling Vore up yet? Because there's other weapons I think I need to equip for red. Let me just check. Maybe I missed it if we did. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, sometimes the notification when you've maxed an ability out isn't always that obvious, is it? Okay, what are we learning now? Stardust Ray, okay. Um, looks like I've ended up backtracking somehow. <laughs> Going back the wrong way. Ah, I need to go over here and down here, I think. Well, at least we've explored the area now, haven't we? We got one material for it. For our trouble. Yeah, no, that is fun, Welsh. The actual junction system itself, I enjoy. Don't get me wrong about that. I don't want to, you know, make people think that I don't enjoy it, because I do. I was only trying to explain, really, why I think the game struggled. And it is overly complicated. Yeah. 
Right, I'm going to throw a Chilling Roar down because it's actually quite powerful. And then... Uh, what was the other one I now need to learn? Oh, Stardust Rates, 2 ATV. Nice! Yeah, Stardust Ray is super powerful, isn't it? And we're going to need to level up. Uh, heal up, even. Yeah, that's another thing about FF8. I'm not a big fan of how the limit break system works in that game. It's just too unpredictable. You have very little control over it. I suspected there might be Fiendor. I think there was as well in uh, Remake, if I'm not mistaken. No, not Assess Soothing Breeze. Soothing Breeze actually heals for a lot, doesn't it? It really does. Heal for a lot, indeed. Hey, Rich. Well done, mate. Oh, okay, Steve. I might check that out for some of them. I seem to be levelling them at an alright pace at the minute, mind. Should we have a look at the crafting menu very quickly? I'm just thinking that I haven't actually done so for a while. Um, and we can probably start levelling it up a bit. No doubt there's probably a trophy to craft at least one of everything, isn't there? Dum -de -dum. Boiler valve. That's weird. It's a key item. That I can craft. I wonder what I need it for. It must be a quest of some kind. I wonder if this is... There's now an image of Barrett and what looks to be Yuffie. I wonder if this is some kind of puzzle later on. I mean, we can't do anything with it now because we, you know, we have this forced fixed party setup. But I wonder if we have to change party later on in order to solve puzzles and stuff. Oh, okay, Jeff. Yeah, good to see you. It's going well, thanks. How's your day going? What if I put a mark on as well, 890 metres away? Yeah, I don't think we'll ever forget that fight against Ozma. will be red. That's probably the most insane encounter I've seen in FF9. The way it all played out and that in the end. After we got a game over but still managed to beat it. Even with the game over. Like the same encounter. Bloat float. Oh, I don't think I've scanned that. Don't recognise it anyway. Ah, oh, it's dead. I have to bear that in mind the next time I see one. Yeah, in Final Fantasy IX, Ozma is actually a unique enemy because it's one of the only enemies in the game that has a RNG-based order to its abilities. 
so you never know what it's going to do next. Pretty much every other enemy follows a strict pattern in terms of what it's going to cast and when. Or at least it follows certain rules, like if your party does something, then uh, the enemy will cast something. There is a little bit of that to Ozma's battle. For example, it will only cast, I think, is it level 5 death? If at least one of your party members has a level multiple of 5, it won't cast it if it's not going to do anything. But there is also a lot of randomness as to what it's going to cast. So it's hard to prepare each turn. Plus on top of that, it doesn't use a standard ATB gauge like every other enemy uses. In fact, every attack it does is a counter to your attacks. So it's a very unique fight, which makes it a lot of fun in many ways. The thing about Ozma though, it's not one of the hardest super bosses because it only has a low amount of HP. Like 69,000, I think it is, or something. Whereas in many other Final Fantasy games, super bosses have upwards of the millions of HP. And the reason why it only had the same number of HPs as some of the other bosses in FF9, which is a pretty low cap, is because of a technical standpoint. The numbers were done in such a way in the coding that the HP that Ozma had, which is actually a low number, is pretty much the highest they could have programmed it with. It was a stupid limitation, but that's how it ended up playing out. <laughs> oh, poor Ares. I love the way they play into the fact that she's just not quite as athletic as the rest of the party. Based on uh, that scene, I think it's in the original Final Fantasy VII where you first meet up with her. And she really struggles to keep up with Cloud, doesn't she? When he's jumping across the various parts of the slums. Oh yeah, no, I very rarely do that, Vinor, unless I feel there's a need to, and then I have to be conscious of the fact that I need to do it. You guys have got to remember as well, I am not an action gamer. That's why I love games like Final Fantasy VII and the older Final Fantasy games that are more strategy than, depending, than dependent on me pushing certain buttons at certain times. Um, that said, you know, I am enjoying the combat in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm just not going to be the most skilled at it. There was another path down there, so I don't know which way I want to come. Can you see? I feel like I'm missing out on stuff if I don't explore everywhere. Probably a treasure chest or something. I could lose out on. So let's just have a quick nosy over. It's only a bridge. Yeah, there could be Stan. Quests for Johnny. Or quest items for Johnny. Oh, is that steadfast block you can get for every character, can you, Steve? Because I've only got one of them, I think. I'm coming. Ah, leveled up. That's it. This one's for you. Not too bad. Oh, so you pretty much have to guard against those abilities for every attack then, don't you, Red? Is that right? Otherwise, you're going to find yourself in a whole world of doo-doos. Do 
I like this soothing breeze. It just keeps you nicely topped up, doesn't it? Especially if you're not going to be seeing a bench for a while. I think it's going to be really helpful in hard mode as well. I do. Stardust Ray, I think, was a limit break in Final Fantasy VII for Red, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember using Counter Stance a lot in FF7 Remake. I haven't gained access to it yet, though, in Rebirth. I understand from a gameplay perspective as to why Square chose not to let you carry abilities and stuff over. I wonder if there's a story reason why you've lost access to everything between stepping out of Midgar into the open world. folks hiking up the mountain today and not a one of them so much as nodded my way even try calling out to a few sick looking fellas all in black and ah. never get silence <sighs> i guess these days never learn to greet each other or something ah some new enemies over here Just grab some of the good stuff first. Yeah, he's, would you say, Red Mario, that Ozma is definitely unique in Final Fantasy IX? Not only in terms of how he looks, but just in terms of how his AI is written and how it works. Okay, weak to ice. If I remember, I was morphing these guys in FF7 for sources or something to level up. Ouch. Okay, can't seem to hit these behind because of their shells or something. Dodge that. Let's try and get over to the rest of the team before we heal up. Yeah, trying to melee these is actually really annoying. Okay, well, there's the stagger anyway, so there's the start. Oh, I think I'm on the wrong one. Whoops. Yeah, kind of an annoying fight, that one. Yeah, Plasma Discharge is great stuff. It made meleeing those a lot easier. Films. No, I've not played Baldur's Gate 3, Tube. Uh, it looked a bit too complex for me, to be honest with you. I did, when I was younger, try and play like Baldur's Gate 1 and Icewind Dale and Planescape, but no, I could never get into them. It revolved around too much thinking for me. Well, we seem to be gaining a few levels, which is nice. No doubt there's going to be a bit of a tough culmination in the form of a boss soon to this area. Speaking of which, I should probably save. I've not done so yet. Uh -oh. 
Okay, Steve. I'll try and remember that next time. Thing is, I still need to use other abilities, don't I, to get synergy skills active. But yeah, I probably had used enough to, in order to do that. You're right. had finished yeah me too this dad to be honest i forget about most things even blocking a lot of the time can i go right yeah i was pressing it but he wasn't moving come on cloud Uh-oh, we've got a bench. You guys know what that will mean. But I'm going to purchase a couple of steadfast blocks. Since it has been recommended, I think, by Steve to maybe stick these on every party member. Or every active party member. So I suppose, yeah, we should do that. Say goodbye to AP up for the time being. I don't know how useful item master's going to be. I'll take it off for now. Uh, I'll get them confused, Steve. I don't know which one's which. The R1 abilities. Yeah, I hardly ever use them. Hello, Soph. You having a good day? Yeah, hard mode for remake wasn't terrible, Fenor, because you brought all the extra power with you. I think if you make good use of abilities, then hard mode should be manageable. I'm hoping it's going to be more strategy than an increase in, you know, reaction speed for the abilities and stuff you're going to be using. Uh, where am I going? There's a bench here, so... I've come out of that cave, haven't I? Is that right? Yes, we must be going up here. Up the ladder. Up uh, the steps, rather. Okay, Steve. Yeah, I'll try and use that more often then. Yeah, I should have a few unlocked by now. I'm glad I'm not the only one missing out this dad. <laughs> Again? Is this going to be a Turks wow. battle? Look who it is. You here to pick a fight? What? Oh. <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon, and then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. Yeah, that's the library guy, isn't it, Red? If I remember. Well, since 
monster here. Oh boy. What is this thing? Looks like the uh, heli gunner thing, doesn't it, for Midgar? Right, let's assess, see what we're dealing with. Probably lightning. Uh, yeah, lightning weakness. Oh, and wind as well. Inflicting enough damage by exploiting its weakness will pressure it. While it's using cooling protocol, it will be easier to pressure. Okay. Oh, I don't have whatever you suggested that I should have. Um, what was it that Steve mentioned? Uh... Spellblade. Yeah, I don't have that, sadly. Okay, what I'm going to try and do is with Aerith. What spells does she have? Bio and Cure. That sucks because the actual three abilities, I don't think, cast twice, do they? In Arcane Ward. I can test it, but I don't think they do. Oh, crikey, I'm standing in fire, didn't even realise. Because the arcane ward was on the floor. Okay, let's try this. Um, will this even reach? Yeah, it only casts once. You have to actually have materia spells, which is annoying. Okay, Chilling Roar, that should boost Red's damage and, of course, plas Ugh. Plasma Discharge uh, with Cloud, and we need to heal up Aerith. Let's hope the AI for her can manage to survive without us for a while. But it can't. Wow, there's a lot of fire here. I think we need to get Elemental Fire going, don't we, in armour? You know what? I think I've got it on Cloud, which is why we're taking little damage here with him. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm going to heal up before we do anything else. Right, let's throw a Soothing Breeze down into the battlefield. Let's bring Aerith over to that. It's actually really hard with Aerith, I find, to actually build up ATB to use her abilities. I don't know whether they do that on purpose because she's so powerful. As in, her abilities are so powerful. But yeah, it's a struggle. No, I'm trying to do his ranged attack and keep failing. There we go. Let's finish this. Okay. Okay, that's the first time I've actually used that ability and it's worked. Uh, right, what have I got in terms of abilities here that might do a bit of damage? Not much. I'm going to keep Cloud active so that I can use... Oh, actually, let me just check his uh, abilities that everybody keeps telling me to use. Howling Smash. Oh, that is a 
ranged ability, isn't it? It doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but it's good to know about. And the fact you can use that whilst effectively guarding is also really helpful. I can see why synergy abilities are going to be useful, if I can get used to using them, that is. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage is the only thing on this guy. Oh, he's doing that thing where he's easy to pressure. So, if I go to abilities, focus thrust. And synergy abilities, savage assault. Very close to pressure, uh, staggering it, we have done. Nice. So, Stardust Ray, because it does a ton of damage, this does. Um, limit Break, Red 13's got a Limit Break, so let's use that. Oh, yeah, his is a... Okay, we'll use this. Might heal him as well. Oh, cheers, guys. We're making progress in this fight. I think we've still got a ways to go yet, though. Oh, great. Now he's got a giant plasma cannon aimed at us. And that is hard to dodge. Yeah, I'll let the AI sort that out. You can't dodge it either, look. Yeah, don't stand in the fire cloud when you've, like, got three HP. Ah, we need to, uh... Ah, didn't get the opportunity to pressure him then. Right, what summons have we got? Titan. Shiva. And I want to see with red before I do anything. Move, move, move. Uh, Ifrit. There. I wanted uh, either Ramu or... Yeah, Ramu. Not to worry. Right, where the heck is this limit break? I thought I chose that. what I wanted to do. I want to see what synergy abilities I can cast. Firework Blade, uh, Unified, Refocus. That could be good, actually. But I think Savage Assault is what I really want. Which means, yeah, I need to be focusing more on abilities first before I can use that. Let's go for a summon. Titan will do fine. Actually, no, Titan's probably the worst, but not to worry. Get him. Okay, I'll bear that one in mind. I think I've used Bullet Beater before. It rings a bell earlier in the playthrough. Do summoning abilities count towards building up your synergy attacks so you can use them? Ah, boy, everybody's gone to sleep except Aerie. That was a nasty ability. Especially because we're about to stagger the thing. We're not going to have any damage when we do. Okay, we've woken up now. Good stuff.
Yeah, it's just been a fun fight so far, I've got to say. It's not been that difficult, but that's pretty good for me because I kind of suck anyway. <laughs> Move, move, move. Oh, we did it. The custom Valkyrie has been defeated. You're done. We're a team. Ah, okay. Films. Yeah, I reckon most bosses will be final. That was a fun fight, though. And yeah, I enjoyed that one. Come on. We need to find the others. Hmm. Uh, not really. Red, I don't remember that so much. It rings a bell, but I don't remember it too much. Oh, can't believe that dog's still alive. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia Project. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. Okay. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors. Unfathomably large life forms. Hmm. Oh, is that a weapon? A weapon! Based on available information, it would seem... Nice! They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. I wonder what weapon that is. An enormous orb of materia. More specifically... An orb from which they themselves... Ah, we're getting lore for weapons. So weapons are born for materia. Large materia. ...dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. Oh, 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 oh what I wouldn't give to feel one's flesh back. Pull it apart. And see what makes it tick. What? Your wish... Oh, thank you, Em. We'll soon be thank you very much. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we are on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. Mr. President, please. What is this really about? Wu-Tai is after them. Well, talk about... Wu-Tai is after them? Heidegger, I'll need troops. After the weapons? For the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yeah. He can't, can he, Katie? <laughs> question I never had the oh, it's Reeve. Your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, <laughs> The fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend, or even confirm if it actually exists. <laughs> Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I... I do like Rufus, actually, in this version of the game. Decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him. Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your royal support, and I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. This is the uh, yeah. second time we've seen Zach now, isn't it? After the intro, the game. Okay. So we're back in Midgar. Seemingly, as far as I understand, around the same time as the party are out and about, but they're also dead. Don't give me any spoilers, guys, in chat, because I'm actually really confused. They were shown to be dead on the news. Now, that could have been Shinra propaganda, but definitely not, because here they are, look. So something fishy is going on. Ah, oh, this is what's tough now because I really don't want spoilers, but you guys that have already played the game and know what's happened are going to have to uh, like not say anything in chat, even though you must be really tempted. I apologise. It's been a while since I watched Advent Children. But yeah, pretty much Upstairs. it was Genova cells, yeah, infecting the uh, live stream and what have you. Yeah, I've no idea, Fenor. This is bizarre. I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taking care of... No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. <laughs> okay, Steve. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can do that much. That's Aerith, uh... Yes, I know. Huh? Aerith! She okay? Ah, it's Oates. He was in the previous game, wasn't he? Right, Aerith. Yes, I did hear her talking in one of the inns, but couldn't see who it was to. Yeah, Red 13 was in the room as well, Steve, but I don't think it was him. The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. What is going on in the sky? Where do you think Midgar is? It would be east of here. That way. I 
wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Yeah, it looks like a, a rift of some kind, doesn't it? Okay. Got a couple of these to pull, have we? I can't remember which way we came in. Probably this way. Yeah, it looks like it, so... This will be the one we want. Oh, let's save, shall we? Oh, have I used all my save files now? I can't create a new save file. I'm only on chapter 7. I wanted to create a save file for each chapter. Crikey, even the original let me do more save files than... How many this is? 10, is it? Yeah, 10. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, Red Mario, I was always wondering if you were going to do a playthrough of New Threats. I think that could be a fun one for you to do. Seeing as how you're a big fan of FF7. Sorry, we're late. You okay? Yep. I really worked up a sweat. Yeah, me too, Fenor, for sure. All clear. No nasty surprises and no materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. <laughs> Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it. Yeah, in Final Fantasy VII, you don't get to go in the coral reactor, do you? You only get to see it from the outside and watch some carts pop out of it. So I'd be interested to see how this area is going to be expanded upon. Oh, let's just take in the viewer moments. With Clyde, I wonder I'm feeling so tired. Looks like we found it. And despite the fact it looks massive, this circular ring is reminding me of the original, but this has been destroyed, has it? Oh no, there it is. Wow, this is different. There's Shinra's victims. Hmm. It is a bit, isn't it, Elijah? Good company. I'll give him that. Hmm? How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS troops on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. <laughs> the old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They'd been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. <laughs> and that's when Colonel Lodrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodbrock. His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward. They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Sarup agreed to help. Then, bam! Revolution! 
And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. <laughs> but why the interim? Because once this war with Shinra is behind us, the whole country is going to come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Cool, right? Just gonna stand there? Let's get going. Yeah, I wanna know what's going on here. The reactor does look to be pretty much in a bad state, doesn't it? And it wasn't like this in the original Final Fantasy VII, that's for sure. It was pretty much fully functioning, and yet it had tracks coming out of it with minecarts and stuff travelling on them. Yes. Carrying things out. Yeah, that's weird, that is. Yeah, this place is massive, isn't it? Hey, come look at this. I've just realised our party has once again been changed. So I think I need to um, sort out material and what have you. I wish there was a way to actually copy material as there was in FF7 from one character to another. Okay, Red. <laughs> Subvert expectations, Materia. Yeah. Uh, right, okay. I don't need to take it off of the party members. Right, why has Yuffie only got eight... Oh, she's learning blindside, I see. Um, I want HP up. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting more material, I think, to make sure that I don't need to keep swapping between them. As there's no easy way to just exchange material like there is, as I mentioned in the OG, is there? Oh yeah, healing. Definitely want healing. Yeah, HP up, steadfast block. Just go for the usual stuff here. Oh yeah, and the important cure. Oh, I just need to remind myself what abilities I need to level up. Um, blindside and bonus round. If I encounter enemies, I might not. Oh, okay, Jeff. Is that something you can do, is it? 
Wow. Okay, you still have to do it one at a time, do you? But still, that's going to be a lot easier, isn't it? Maybe. I don't know. It might be. It's a good uh, call out there, though. So thanks, Jeff. And Elijah. You did as well. Cheers. Oh, I was going to see if there's any loot, but the game says no. So, like, all that stuff down there is Mako? Yep. Yeah, it seems like an inconvenience, Steve. Don't you think you should be able to swap entire rows of materia at once? I mean, come on, we could do that 30 years ago. I felt like that's gone backwards a bit. <laughs> Oh, boy. What the heck is that? That's not a weapon, is it? Because it's coming out of all the live stream. Yep, it's a weapon. That's the one that Shinra was spotted, isn't it? I still like the odd mug of Earl Grey, Fenor. Can't drink caffeine anymore, though, which is annoying. Oh, cheers, Steve. I'll oh, see you later, Stan. Thanks for stopping by today. A guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning, Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget. Shinra is not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. Yep. He is, and talking won't stop him. It's better than the Sorry, guys. One. Uh, one moment. I'll be back with you. I'll text the wife something. Okay. Oh, another enemy skill is available now, is it, Elijah? <laughs> yeah, very good, Jeff. Yeah, I was just thinking that, Steve. No, I don't think it was Sapphire Weapon, Red Mario. It seemed too small to me. I think the uh, actual weapons that we know and love from the original game, they're the big guns. Planet hasn't brought them out yet. They're probably buried deep in the live stream. Uh, that's awesome, that place. <laughs> you got to find time to sit back and relax, haven't you, Steve? Yeah, I could see what you thought it was, though, Red. From that angle, Cloud's looking evil. Oh, 
Ah. A brown dungeon. Fun. <laughs> if asking my wife to pick up a prescription from the doctors is sexting, then what's the world come to? <laughs> Although, to be fair, when you hit my age, Steve, it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> All the music's gone. It's very eerie around here. Uh, bonus round. That's what I want. And again. Get that leveled up. Money, yeah. Ah, here's the train tracks. That coral is famous for. I wonder if we're going to have to jump off and grab treasures and climb back up them. For now, can't cross till we lower. Yeah, I've got to say, this is probably the longest I've played Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Without seeing a side quest or minigame. Oh, Barrett's story's coming up. Control room's up there. At the top of the cliff. How do we reach it? Through the mine. Won't be a walk in the park, though. Hey, PKFRX. Thank you so much for stopping by and sharing that. Yeah, I'm glad I've been able to be of some use to you in the various video content that I've put out. Yeah, definitely, Steve. Are you on vitamin D as well, are you, mate? I've had to have... Um, I'm not on normal tablets right now. They're called loading tablets or something, which the doctor said I need to have first. In order to get vitamin D back up to normal levels, then it's over-the-counter tablets for life, they've said. Perhaps the Marco got to him. I think it just comes part and parcel of being British. A British gamer. No sun for me. When that thing rings, you know we're done. And you don't move till you're good and ready. All right, put on your mining helmets and follow me. <laughs> right, exploring as Yuffie. Press triangle to destroy distant... Oh, okay. Yeah, done stuff like this before, haven't we? Uh, where's the bench? There it is. I'm tempted to start stocking up materia to keep on my other party members, you know. So that I don't have to keep swapping and changing. I generally want people to have at least an HP up, a steadfast block, precision defense, and a cure. Oh, what's this fortification? I've not seen this before. Allows you to use physical and magical defense strengthening spells. Pair with, pairing with warding grants resistance to physical... A magical defense reduction. Okay, I'll have to read that more clearly, but yeah, we'll grab one. And, yep, yeah, barrier. I'm going to get a few of these.
Ah, sorry to hear that, dude. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, this is kind of a mini game, isn't it? Right, let's save. Okay, guys, I think we'll leave the uh, next part of this until the next stream, since this seems to be a good time to take a break. And we've just taken control of Yuffie, so something to look forward to for Monday. Yeah, I will be streaming Monday, at least that's the plan right now. Same time, same place, 2.30pm here in the UK. But guys, I do want to say a big thanks to all of you for stopping by today's stream. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, weekend now. So, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, try and find time to relax a bit if you can. I know some of you are working over the weekend, though, so it might not be possible. Um, I did look at the other machine, Katie, but not in today's stream. I did it at the end of the last stream. I don't think we've um, probably gained enough to make it worthwhile yet, but I can do it on Monday if I remember. If you're talking about the vending machine where you level up your folios anyway, which is what I think you are. Oh, Wes, sorry to hear that, dude. Good to see you, though, mate, even if it's only briefly. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do want to use Barrier. It's one of the classics, for sure. And I do remember using it in Remake as well. It was really helpful. Okay, guys. Well, have a fantastic weekend, whatever you're up to. And hope to catch you Monday. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.